Hello, hello, and welcome to Dancing in a Daily, a home for leaders, change makers, healers, and just everyday community builders who are working to call in more love, care, and joy into this world. Honey, we need it more, more, more into this world. Thank you so much for being here, and most importantly, thank you for the work that you're doing. I absolutely love working in the social impact sector. I myself have worked as an educator, I've worked in nonprofits, I've worked in government agencies. Um, now I'm supporting a CDFI, a lender, right? Uh, I'm curious about impact investing. I love social entrepreneurship. Anybody who cares about making an impact in the world and really advancing well-being and justice for the world, I am your person. You are my people. Let's support each other. Let's love each other. Let's be in community so together. Today, I am going to talk about the fact that we don't need to be perfect and we can just go ahead and let that go right here, right now, y'all. We can free ourselves. We do not have to be perfect. And I think so many times as a leader, we can put the pressure on ourselves that we need to be perfect. Or sometimes our team members might look to us or even community members might look to us and kind of project this image of they have it all figured out. They have the answers. They're so amazing. They're so great. They're so X, Y, and Z, or this is what I need them to be, right? Whatever there is, people are constantly projecting onto our onto us as leaders, but we also can be projecting onto ourselves as leaders. So I am making this video to remind you that you are a human being and that you are enough just as you are. You can show up as a human, you can show up as an imperfect self, you can show up as someone who's learning and growing alongside your community, alongside your team members, and it's actually in that humility, and it's T where you find your power. It's actually in that humility where you can help your team optimize and grow together right <laughs> so one of the things that comes up as we're doing our work day to day there's always questions your team member might come to you and ask you oh how do you want me to do this thing or what should this document look like or you know what do you need from me for this proposal whatever the question is constantly your team members your community members are coming to you with questions in those moments you have some options Sometimes you really might have the answer. It's a thing, it came to you, you have the answer, boom, you're clear, you share the answer with them, fantastic. There might be other times where you have the answer, but you actually wanna help your team grow, so rather than just throwing the answer out there, you use it as a space for reflection together, and you problem solve together, and you think critically together, to use it as a learning experience for your team member, right? There are other times where you really don't have the answer, right? It, maybe it's a question, maybe it's something you've never done before. Maybe it's something you've never experienced before. Maybe it's a new condition or a new circumstance, right? Maybe you just don't have the information. Or maybe it's something that's a bit more subjective that doesn't have a right or wrong answer. And so it really requires more creative thinking and there's not an immediate answer. The beautiful thing is you don't have to answer the question, right? You can ask more questions. You can ponder, you can wonder, you can be curious. And the more we do that out loud with our team members, the more we reclaim our own humanity. The No longer are we a dictionary, no longer are we the Google, no longer are we the source of information in the perfect leader and now you're a human being alongside your community member alongside your team member who's coming together and we're going to figure this thing out together that actually creates more buy-in from others right people like to help people when they realize that you don't have the answer you're gonna actually have people who are excited to figure it out alongside you they're gonna you're gonna have people who are excited to support you and working together to find that answer it actually can be a space of play a space of fun of working together of building a connection and building trust so i want to encourage you to lean in to not be perfect to not have all the answers right and in those moments people are really going to be able to connect with you and you're going to get to grow 
what's the fun in being a leader who has it all together, right? And you're not learning. You're going to feel stagnant after some time. So give yourself the room to grow. Give yourself the room to explore new ideas, to be creative, to be a flexible thinker, to stretch yourself a bit. So if you find yourself, you know, if perfectionism is coming up for you again and again and again, remember that perfectionism comes up for a lot of leaders, right? It's something that I've noticed. I facilitate leadership circles um, with groups of leaders and reflecting on their practice, really reflecting on their identities as leaders and how they show up day after day. And in those circles, perfectionism is probably one of the most common things that comes up. So it is a part of our process. It's okay. Don't judge yourself for being a perfectionist, right? Um, or whatever that may be. Just be curious with yourself, right? Just as much as I'm encouraging you to practice curiosity out loud with your team, you can practice curiosity with yourself. When you notice yourself, oh, I really want to have the answer. I really want this to happen in this specific way, or I want to feel accomplished. I want to, whatever that how perfectionism shows up for yourself because it shows up in many different ways. Um, it can show up in productivity, it can show up in hustle, it can show up in actually in procrastination because you want it to get done in a certain manner so you don't actually do it, right? There's many ways that uh, perfectionism can show up. But be curious about how it shows up for you and in the moment, just ask yourself why. Right? You can just ask yourself, why? why do I need it to look this way? Why do I need to have the answer? Why do I feel like this is not enough? Why? Whatever it may be, just be curious with yourself. Ask yourself why. And then after you ask yourself why, ask yourself what if, right? Just try on some different thought patterns. What if I let that go? What if it was done in a different way? What if I didn't have the answer? What if this doesn't get done right now and we don't do it until next week? What if we come together and think about this together as a team? What if, right? So ask yourself why, why am I feeling this way? What's behind it? And then what if? Try on some different perspectives. Try on some different ideas and some different ways of thinking. This is just gonna allow yourself again to be playful with your own mind, to be playful with yourself and with your own energy and to um, explore new possibilities around perfectionism without trying to force yourself to no longer be a perfectionist. Because then in that way, we're in the same kind of mental loop of not feeling like we're enough, right? Or feeling like something's wrong. It's not about trying to get somewhere else to be somebody else or to be perfect and not being perfect, right? It's just about being curious and massaging yourself into new possibilities, right? That's, that's what I'm thinking, grooving, dancing, flowing into new possibilities and letting what comes up organically happen, right? Um, I don't know, I'm just having fun with you all. That's the point of this. Leadership is supposed to be fun. I believe that nothing good happens in this world if we're not enjoying it. And so when we're doing work that we're feeling miserable and we're feeling determined and we're feeling all of this pain and trauma, you know, even especially in the social impact sector, again, whatever, if it's age government agency, if it's a school system, if it's a nonprofit system, usually the work that comes from that space does not have the impact that we want it to have. People can feel, right? If you are not enjoying your work, if you're feeling a lot of pressure and a lot of pain, our community members will be able to feel that psychic energy. They'll be able to feel, you know, uh, your stress as a leader. And so your well-being, your healing, your joy is important and it's impactful. So I would like to invite you into the Dancing in the Daily community. We are organizing leadership circles that really are about bringing small groups of leaders together to reflect critically on their practice, to ask themselves, 
who am I as a leader? What language do I use as a leader? What frameworks and thought systems and belief systems am I acting from? What are the practices that I'm engaging as a leader, right? So we come together over a six month period, meeting regularly to reflect on our practice as leaders and to support each other and being leaders who can build beloved community in the institutions that we serve. That is the goal, beloved community, joy and well-being for the places where we work, the places where we live, the places where we serve, right? Um, I invite you to visit dancinginthedaily.com or you can send an email to our team at info at dancinginthedaily.com to inquire about our leadership circles. Our model right now is focused on supporting organizations and institutions. So, you know, instead of focusing on individual leaders, we really are focused on helping people heal and reflect in community because we heal in relationship with each other right healing is a communal and a collective effort reflection is so much sharper and better and stronger when we do it in community and so that's why our model is focused on a circle that really serves and anchors in an institution so perhaps you're a community foundation or a family foundation. Perhaps you are a school or a school district. Perhaps you are a community organization, a volunteer organization, a governmental agency or a nonprofit. We are your people. These leadership circles were designed for you. So reach out to us. We're excited to support you and your organization to reach your goals and make the important impact that you need to make in the world. Again, I said it before, I'll say it again and again. We need you. So I'm sending you so much love and joy for your day.